Okay, uh, so in the previous video we have seen that uh, how to specify this ht access files and uh, now uh, let's construct our library content right so yeah in this video i will show you how to construct the co library uh, which means basically the entire thing that is need to be uh, having in this uh, uh framework so as i told you before how this routing works is basically uh ht access file will redirect to this public ht access file and this public ht access file redirected the stuffs into index file and the index file itself uh, must be redirected to bootloader content okay so we need to specify uh after going to the index folder load the bootloader content so basically we are loading the bootloader content using require once because we need to only instantiate this uh, bootloader file only by once uh, so basically we are going to the app folder then bootloader.php app, app folder and then bootloader.php and if I go to the bootloader content and uh, simply I will just specify uh, some echoing content uh, let's say bootloader and if I refresh my web browser it will show that this is a bootloader so the redirection works then uh, I can go to the library content and uh, let me declare the most important parts in this uh, framework so obviously we need to have uh, core contents which means the basic very basic primitive things that uh, comprises the entire framework and we need to have the controller to extend the controller functionalities because we the controllers uh, always use the exact same uh, oh, not the exact same but uh, almost similar stuffs so we don't need to explicitly we don't need to uh, uh, again and again declare the same thing instead of that we are uh, declaring a uh, one a class for the controllers uh, which uh, include all the basic uh, controlling stuff that is need to be extended within other controllers okay and uh, obviously we need to have database class uh, because the model itself use the database stuffs all the you know query related things so instead of writing uh, query related functionalities for each model we can simply declare one single file or one single class uh, for the database then we can extend or then we can call the database content to other modules okay so that's the way uh, the things are getting uh, th things work uh, so in this video i will show you how to uh, build this core file content okay and uh, yeah uh, oh, uh, let me go to my documentations again i think uh, before writing the core content we need to yeah we need to load these core files to the bo uh, boot loader file then boot loader file will uh, execute the things related to this specific library functionalities uh, library uh, classes so uh, i can simply load libraries by using same require ones then i must go to the uh, libraries folder then uh, first let me use the core then require once again libraries folder then go to the controller.php then require once then libraries folder then database php so now i can go to the core file so basically i can now start declaring the core functionalities so 
I'm going to use the object oriented paradigm, which means first I must uh, declare the class uh, contents, then I can instantiate the objects of that specific class. Right? So I will simply declare a, a core class. Then uh, within the co core class, uh, I will write the things related to routings. Okay. So what is this routing? Uh, so I think, okay. I will simply explain uh, what is meant by uh, routing. Uh, yeah. Let me grab my device again. Okay. Um, so, in the routing, we know this URL, right? So initially this is local or sim simple epic. Uh, so this is our uh, default route or default URL. So likewise, if you go to any other uh, website, it has a specific URL to redirect for each views. Okay. So within the MVC architecture, uh, the routing happens in the in this way. Uh, so routing in MVC. Basically, it initially have this local host and uh, your file name. So in my case, it's simple epic. Okay, it is there. You you can't uh, uh, get rid of it uh, because it's the uh, base uh, URL, I guess. And uh, then we are specifying the controller over here. Controller. So let's say uh, for the home page, we have a controller. For the maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe a post page, we have a controller. And for the uh, about page, we have a controller, things like that. Okay. And uh, we are specifying a function for method after the controller so this method include inside this controller so controller for example let's say um, if i go to the post controller post controller may have methods like add add post and maybe edit post and maybe delete post something like that so those are the methods and uh, after the method, I am using uh, the parameter list. So this is a parameter list, which means um, I can have one parameter or two parameter or any amount of parameters. Okay? So n amount of parameters, right? So this is how routing works. First, it's controller, then it's method, then it's parameter list. Okay. So, within our core class, we must get our URL from the browser and we need to uh, some sort of uh, divide that URL for controller methods, method and uh, parameter list. Then controller can call specific controller then controller can call specific method then method can grant or method can take specific parameter list okay then it will execute the uh, functionalities then it will uh, forward the content to the view so users will see the results okay that's the way how uh, this mvc routing works okay i think that explanation will be enough so I can uh, go to my core class content and uh, start declaring the core class.
so yeah as i told you the url format will be controller method and params or parameter list okay uh, so first i will declare uh, three protected um, variables to store this controller method then param parameter list so obviously controller uh, will store like this current controller so i will just simply say pages okay for instance then i need another protected variable for method or let's say current method uh, let me use index okay so index is the ba basic uh, or initial uh, method that we are calling okay then obviously we need the parameter list which means we need to have an array because it's a parameter list we need to store that list within some sort of array maybe associative array maybe just a simple array <coughs> most cases it will be associative array uh, but uh, I guess for instance I will simply specify as just a normal array right then uh, you know in the object oriented paradigm after we specify in the class we need to instantiate the constructor because the constructor is the one which will execute the default stuffs related to that specific class so i will use a public function and construct right um, so i need to construct a function uh, so public function uh, let me name it as get url so in this get url i will just simply uh, print the url okay then uh, later on we can uh, you know divide the uh, controllers method then uh, parameter list so this is how we get the url from the uh, from our web browser so i can call this function using get url in the constructor so initially get url uh, file will be uh, or get url uh, function get url method will be executed okay and uh, yeah i think i can go to the web browser and simply click refresh yeah now nothing is there now uh, let me uh, declare some sort of a controller so let's say um, pages and maybe show method okay uh, so yeah it works but i think um, yeah url must be it then it must echo the content in the boot folder content yeah uh, we must in initiate this code right otherwise uh, the object won't be instantiated so we need to instantiate this core class within our bootloader file uh no not the bootloader but the uh, index file you can actually uh, call it in the bootloader file as well but uh, i will just follow my documentations okay uh in it equals new so we instantiate the core class okay now the core class will be instantiated so if i go there and click uh, refresh now the url will be displayed like this right so i can pass parameter list maybe one name uh, something like that so this is the url content so it works and that's how the core class will be specified so i guess uh, for this episode this stuff will be enough and uh, i will show you more stuffs in the next episode thank you